Hello. Hi, Batch 94 Civil Jubilarians. Praise be Jesus and Mary. Um, most especially to For Loyalty class with our respective advisor, Mrs. Dolly Cuevas. Buenas noches po, ma'am. To all my previous grade school and high school teachers who have been a big part of my learning process, I thank you so much. Not to forget my kindergarten teacher, Sister Judith Padilla RVM. I must say I'm one of the true and genuine blooded pillarist from kindergarten. And from high school senior, none other than I'll never forget, Sister Nancy Declan RVM. Hi, Sister Nancy, if you're about. Well, Pilar College will always be a part of me until the end of time. Growing up being unique and different from the rest is always challenging, especially when my girlfriends start to have boyfriends or start liking to have boyfriends. But I remain to like having girlfriends. <laughs> Well, you know what I mean. Let me tell you this. I have definitely enjoyed my time in high school. In grade school, I have always been one of the boys. And in high school, I guess I was the one and only. And you know that. Back in high school, everyone belonged to a group. Belonged to a barcada with one heart, one mind for all. And I guess one of the highlights limelights at the time was the Redora case which I guess at this time everybody knows and it's not a mystery at all anymore I suppose and I can never forget that anyway being the class president at the time haha ha, I don't know why anyway back in time we quite enjoyed hanging around at lunchtime especially like you know classes that start at one o'clock when Mrs. I won't even allow us into the building and that's actually because of our noise. She doesn't want us to go up to her classroom, not to her knowledge, we've actually quite enjoyed being silly as such with our age, eh? We've quite enjoyed the time and even created more noise just to avoid that class and probably have remaining time less with algebra. Anyway, who can explain the letters in the alphabet now being added? <laughs> X plus Y, ha ha, equals Z. How is that supposed to mean? Well, anyway, at least I made it through. And I don't think I've ever needed it with my nursing career, to be honest. Two-piece, unforgettable year in high school. Why? I was then the president of the class with the aim to make me behave. Which wasn't at all a very good idea, is it? But still, you know what? When I close my eyes, I can still freshly remember each of my classmates up to this very moment. Lovely faces, lovely faces I can never forget. And I can remember one lunchtime, one lunch break actually with one of the school shoes I was waiting at the time. I don't know if you can remember the big mango tree behind the science building. You know when we do the when we do gardening in, in THE uh, there was there was a time when there was a peak of massive green mangoes and I've actually managed to spot a class a cluster of it and with my shoe off my foot of course came whew, flying, hit it nicely, and voila, I got the big cluster, boom, and off to the ground, it fell like heavy hailstones onto the solid surface of the ground, and, oh, of course, my classmates shouted a no with happiness, because I'm sure they'd get a, they get to have their own shares of the big piece of it, but obviously, I'm quite quite afraid at the time thinking oh I might be back in the perfect of disciplines office you know but anyway no security guard was inside at the time believe it or not and me and my buddy Charissa Villanella 
was just lucky and was just happy chattering about and all this, so I felt like a hero. I've fed a lot of classmates with that green mango, believe it or not. But to be honest, I feel a bit sad to this time when just recently I had a chat with my best friend Therese saying that that mango tree apparently is not there anymore. So it's not existent anymore. So my memory, it's sad, but I guess there'd be a good reason why that big tree has been cut. I must say, I must thank my loving mom and dad for sending me to Pilar College, the best school in town, best school ever, I must say, up to this date in Zamboanga City. My siblings, I must say, are all products of Pilar College. The high standard of education is none so far incomparable, none so far incomparable to other schools. Despite the sisters, expensive tuition fees, coming from an average military family, with all the complexities in life, I must say, my mom and dad had given me the best gift with a very good education and finishing my schooling, like all of us, my siblings and I, finishing our schooling, our studies in Pilar College. Again, being different to all my beautiful batchmates, particularly my classmates, had taught me to rise above all things. I made sure I did all the best of my maximum potential and whispered to myself that someday I'm going to bring pride not just to my family, friends, my teachers, my school, but to Philippines. Being a registered nurse has been the pathway of my new horizon, leading me here now in Scotland, United Kingdom. I must say, and I can probably say to share with you, that I was the first and the only Filipino nurse practitioner with NHS 24 Scotland, way back 2008, and at present, I am the deputy charge nurse of the orthopedic arthroplasty ward in Rigmer Hospital here in Inverness. That's here in Scotland, United Kingdom. It wasn't an easy journey though. Being a Filipino, I had to strive and make myself better in every little way. There are lots of ups and downs. Through sacrifice, I am where I am now. Inspired by a very beautiful wife, who is also a nurse like me. Great minds think alike. There you go. And I must say, above all, let me share my weapon to you. It is prayer. Believe me, in everything I face with in my daily life, I pray. I thank the Lord for every little thing be it good, be it bad, whatever comes, I always feel that it's always part of the journey. See? And I am a living testimony of this. To all the Silver Jubilarians, my strong apologies for not being there with you to celebrate this momentous occasion, but we'll definitely make up to you soon. Keep in touch with each other. No burning bridges. Life is too short to dwell in the past. Pilar College, my beloved school, beloved school of my childhood, our love, we pledge to you. And also, thank you very much, I must say, for giving me this opportunity, for giving a bit of a chit-chat with you. Congratulations in advance to... Cecil, the chat. Congratulations for getting the team back into perspective, back into focus. And I can sense that everyone's a happy, glorious during this day. Hanggang sa muli ang inyong lingkod po, Rolly Cordero Cariazo, mula sa Bulwagang Pambalitaan ng Inverness City, Scotland, United Kingdom. Vaya con Dios. 
Amor con amor se paga. God bless you all.